My traumatized babies and mentally ill Barbies. Today, I am just not going to go through our longer intros and outros because I actually have a nine to five work deadline that I need to get through. And so I just need to get everything out as quickly as possible, unfortunately, through the weekend and um, perhaps through next week. So bear with me for perhaps shorter content, I'm not sure yet. But before I get started with the read that looks like a repeat message, a positive one, but a repeat one, I just wanted to take a minute to talk about, I think his name is Max Azarello. I'm probably getting the name wrong, I just saw it, but this is the gentleman who has unfortunately set himself on fire in front of where the Trump court hearings are taking place. And I have gotten through some of his substack about what he was looking to draw attention to with setting himself on fire. And I just want to take a minute because when I talk about certain like big issue things on the channel, and especially when we're talking about the yellow transmissions and things like it, a lot of that stuff tends to get conspiratorial and while I stand by everything that I have brought through on the channel and of course like it's not news that people with like fuck you money are using the media as tools for control and all of that stuff. What I want to address is that this is why I get so cautious about talking about conspiracy and pointing these things out, even when the conspiracy is absolutely true, right? There is only so much any of us can do about what's going on. And a lot of the most productive things that we can do is yes, staying informed to a certain capacity so we're not taken in by things that we're seeing play out in media. And that doesn't mean we just like stop watching the news altogether or like none of it's real. It's not that. But when we start looking at these big picture things that we don't have a lot of control over, it can end up causing people to spiral into severe states of a mental health issue that was created over ruminating over all of that stuff, or it can exacerbate existing mental health issues. So. I would just like to point out that based on what I read in that gentleman's substack, he was not pointing out anything new at all. And I am so upset that he would have set himself on fire because of this. It's not that I don't understand, but horribly, that does not, the age where someone setting themselves on fire publicly makes anything more than a blip on the radar, those days are long gone. Doing something like that, unfortunately, isn't gonna do anything. It's a day of news, maybe. And so I just think it's unfortunate to see someone take that kind of a step when it is an ineffective step. If you are feeling your mental health spiral, as a result of anything that's going on in the media, anything that's going on on social media, the topics that you are invested in, please take a break. Please turn off social media. Please turn off the TV. Go and get outside. You need to get around people. So I just wanna remind everybody that as we're moving into an election year, it is going to be very important for you to have boundaries around your media consumption and also discerning who is somebody who is worth listening to as a source of information or as a source of shoring up your own internal stability. Because in the age now of AI, that like I am less interested in like the election results this time around and I'm far more interested in seeing what goes on with AI during the election year because AI has now destabilized our reality even more and we I think anyway I could be wrong I think we're going to start to see the real impacts of that in this election cycle and what that means is it's going to be crazy making. 
And so you really, like, I just, I can't stress enough how we very much need to be extra solid in ourselves. And if you're feeling not solid, pull back from the things that are causing you to feel unstable because this is gonna be wild. It, seriously, it's only getting wilder. And the way that we combat that is to get off of media because social media and the internet, it goes 10 million times faster. Reality, materiality is much slower. And so seriously, start creating your boundaries now if you haven't already because going through this year and maybe the next five years is really gonna be something. Seriously, for the mental health, I, like I'm, <laughs> like it's either gonna be really, really good for you, or it's gonna be really, really fucking bad for you. So, just a reminder, all right. And so, let's go ahead and get into the read. And what I see here, I, I'm seeing. I'm pretty sure it's our read from yesterday. I'm seeing our King of Cups here, someone who has made some sort of extreme change, extreme change, and they are like in their processing period, it seems like they've made the bulk of the change and now they're solidifying who they are processing their new version of themselves. So I have here is the death card, the king of cups and the four of swords. So let's go ahead and get some details out and we're gonna see if I can keep this relatively quick today. No, yes, yes, this is a no, oh wait. Yes. Oh, coming out weird today. Yes. All right. Let's see what's under this death card. Temperance Lace is a long-term alchemical process, internal change. Ace of Wands that this person completed successfully, or they were very motivated to do it. Our King of Cups, Eight of Wands. This person that like motivated rapid change. And it is likely like it's pointing me more towards this final column which is likely where we are now. We're kind of in between. These are, these are our two, like these two columns, we're kind of in an amalgamation of these two things right now. So what's under this Four of Swords? The Knight of Pentacles. So this person is kind of like, they're on the back end of whatever this is. They're solidifying themselves and they're getting ready. They're starting to like change direction into whatever they wanna do next. And so I don't need any more here. Let me go ahead and look at these. I almost kind of don't, it's these two. So what is this Knight of Pentacles? Because I don't want to ask any more questions. Okay, they're balancing themselves out with the Justice card. I only want to know what's happening going forward. I don't give a shit about what this person has been doing or is doing. Um, they're about like, once the balancing is done, the new start with the Fool. King of Wands, this person like, that person might be in the Knight of Pentacles, so that is taking some time, that's slow and steady progress. And this person is going to be very, very motivated to do whatever it is that they're going to do. So I understand they're balancing. So now I'm coming down to this, the Fool and the King of Wands. Let's get some more information on what this person is intending to do because the King of Wands is a take charge energy within this particular frame that we're dealing with here. Five of Wands. Queen of Pentacles, well, you know, they're gonna fight the lovers. So this person is here to fight the fight for the person who they wanna be with. That's what's going on here. Um, so I know what's happening there. Um, I know this is y'all, this queen of, even if you're a man, okay? Um, and you are in that more receptive position and you don't mind to have like a woman or a femme or whatever, whoever your opposite is, because we could be talking about a same sex. So this could be two men, two women, it could be non-binary people, like any sort of mixture. So as long as you are someone who is fine with your, um, your counterpart taking the initiative with you, that's all I'm saying, um, then the reading is for you, no matter what genders I have here up on the board. Um, what am I asking? So how does this person intend to compete here for your affection or the yes for a date, something? What is this person doing? Oh, so we got a lot. 
This person, well, they're gonna work, working hard to please you. They're gonna work, page of pentacles, that's gift giving. The hermit, um, that's like somebody being thoughtful. That's someone in for the long haul. Um, I'm gonna get a couple on this hermit card, but that's more like, um, I'm getting that as more like trying to figure, like when I say figure you out, it's not to manipulate you. It's so that they can anticipate the things that you want. This person is working in materiality to give you some sort of material thing. And they're also trying to anticipate like your needs. They wanna know what your needs and wants are like as a partner so they can like fulfill those. Yes, nine of pentacles, they want you to like, they want to facilitate you living your best life possible. They want to be that sort of a partner to you. Five of, um, five of Swords. This is just indicating that, like, this person is going to fight for this with that Five of Swords. This is something that, like, it gives them a sense of satisfaction to be able to accomplish these tasks to please you. Like, seeing your pleasure is something that, like, fulfills this person. And them being, like the thing that is providing that. Yes, the sun, that's what they wanna see. Like for them, that's like, and I know this sounds, it kinda sounds a little vampiric, it's not. It's like, th like what makes this person happiest is to fulfill the need, see you happy with it, and then that happiness that you're radiating onto them is like giving them life. Okay, and then they wanna start the process all over again. So that's what I mean by anticipating what you, they're trying to figure out. They're like, I have an idea of what this person wants, but as I get to know them better, I'm going to like figure this out and I am going to like put myself here, 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 and here so that um, this person is happier. And this in turn makes them happy, which is great. And so what type, we have the lovers here, what type of relationship is this person looking to cultivate with y'all? Okay. Well, like I'm saying, this this person's, I've been getting this, they're like just this contingency of energies that like they're just, the love language is like giving stuff. The love language is acts of service. This is who these people are. Page of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. This is like giving. This is taking action for. Two of Swords. This is like decision making. Decision making, Six of Pentacles. So it's like, um, I'm going to pull on that Two of Swords. But it's sort of like they almost want to take stress off of you. It's like if I can't anticipate this person's needs very, very effectively and also fulfill them effectively, I can remove decision making labor from them. So like they can just go. And but the thing is, the equal exchange with the six of pentacles there is that your response to it is fulfilling them. So they're taking labor from you, but in doing that, it's like providing them some sort of like joy. So what's this two of swords? That also could be some sort of financial decisions. Eight of swords, the wait. It's like, I don't, I'm not being convicted for anything. They're saying no. Yeah, it's like they, do, honestly, y'all, I know, like when I start saying shit like this, I'm not getting convicted on it. And it's, to me, I don't think I'm saying anything stupid, all right? Two of Swords, Eight of Swords, Knight of Wands, Page of Swords. This is like someone not wanting you to worry about like money, not wanting you to worry about like major financial decisions, not wanting you to worry about like day-to-day -day budgeting. And it's not that, because I want to be cautious about this, this is not someone who doesn't want you to understand finances or financial decisions. They don't want to keep you in the dark to control you. They are looking to take a certain burden off of you. So if you were uncomfortable with someone sort of taking lead or command over a financial thing over your like within a life, this person would be someone who would like be open about like, if you want to know something, this person is going to be like, well, why do you want to know that? Because that's a red flag. 
This is somebody who would, if you wanted to know, okay, or you wanted further education or you wanted information on why something was happening and where certain money is and this and that, this person was, would most definitely be transparent with you. Um, but like ultimately what they're looking to do here is to remove specific burdens from you so you can do what you want to do. Okay. And like that, that, that's what that is. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at timelines, see if I can get one. Remember, take all timelines with a grain of salt. All right. All right, this is kind of a long, so I might not be getting a specific timeline. We're gonna look here. The Empress, see it's more of a message, the star. Three of Wands, so that's like y'all are the Empress star. This person's coming in, the devil. This is like with a vengeance. It's not really giving me a timeline. Um, the Three of Wands is kind of like three weeks. But I don't know about that. Can we have like a, a, a measure of time? Because this is more of like, it's not telling me a time. It might not be able to, but it's just saying like this person is very determinately doing this. I just don't know that we can say how long. This is like, we, I've been getting this. So six, three, to, three weeks to six weeks with that six of wands. That's also the successful coming in. Um, to give it a wider berth, we can go weeks, months, weeks, months, probably before the end of the year. That's what we like. That's what I've been getting for certain timelines on things. So let's go ahead and get the final advice outcome before I do. If you have benefited from the channel and you do have anything to give back financially, I have a link down below for House of Tulip. House of Tulip is a local nonprofit created and run by trans and gender nonconforming people of color. And House of Tulip's mission is to provide support for houseless, trans and gender non-conforming youth, getting them homes, toiletries, clothing, job opportunities, and anything else that they would need to move from a space of surviving to thriving in loving, supportive community. So our final advice outcome, well, I'm looking at some happiness here, at least in the last two cards. Let me see. Okay, Queen of Wands, the Tower, Three of Cups, Ten of Cups. Um, I don't know if this is going to be sudden with that tower. This is almost like it's giving, I came in like a wrecking ball, but it's like positive because the result of this tower is the Three of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So like, so what? The Tower, the Magician. This is somebody like making this happen. Um, this, like, it's a drastic thing for this person. And I'm just checking on that Queen of Wands. That just might be a representation of this person since we already had the King of Wands come out. This person is creating this drastic change for their own happiness. And they're hoping that that includes you because part of their own, ha yeah, it's this person. This person is like, this person's wild, whoever they are. Like this, this is somebody who is like going, doo -doo 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 -doo. it's like coming, it's coming right for you. Like whatever this is, it is. So um, that's cool for whoever this read is for. So let's go ahead and close with the son and the father. And y'all, just to let you know, if the readings are shorter through the end of next week, it is because of a work deadline for my nine to five. That is all. So we should be back to our regularly scheduled programming. Jesus says, after that, Jesus says you can pray for anything and if you believe that you've received it, it will be yours. That's just confirmation, okay? Believe it, okay? I'm telling you the damn truth. Don't be afraid, just have faith. Don't stress out about this. It's coming, it's manifesting, blah, 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 blah. I am the alpha and the omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. This person is a ride or die. They're like dedicated to you, like whoever this is. I don't know how y'all did that. Cool. So now, as always, we end with the highest authority. And that highest authority, of course, being Bob, our Father who art in heaven. We close with the word of Bob that is good all the time. And if I end up having to like, uh, like I'm not anticipating having to like skip a day of content or like two or whatever, if it does come to that, I'm gonna put it on the community tab, but it's just like extenuating circumstances. And it's positive, so. Okay, Bob says, no pressure, just relax and watch it happen. Don't need to translate that. 
Bob also says, I really believe if you practice enough, you could paint the Mona Lisa with a two inch brush. This is something about y'all's manifestation process. Y'all might have leveled up in some way um, with, your, with your manifestation techniques. This is also um, a reflection of this person who's coming in because they had to make some sort of life change and they're essentially right now painting the Mona Lisa with a two inch brush. Like this person, whatever this person did, it was, it's significant. Bob finally says, we just show you how, but you make the decisions. When you have this much power, you have to make big decisions. We are the music makers. We are the dreamers of the dreams. And my traumatized babies and mentally ill Barbies, this is reality. And I am your GM, your game master for this, the game of life. I am also, of course, the greatest magician of the age and perhaps the greatest magician of all time. And together, you and I will perform the greatest magic trick of all time. We will reverse the polarities of the world, make America great for once, fly this boat to the moon somehow, shift our world onto the mega happy timeline, perhaps leaving it a much better place than it ever has been before. Because we are, my traumatized babies and mentally ill Barbies, crawling on the planet's face, some insects called the human race, lost in time and lost in space. End meeting.